I'm honestly trying to figure this out and I just can't get my head around it. <sighs> Somebody fucking call now, one, one. Yeah, I need you. Yeah. Small just a little bit. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill. Make sure you click the subscribe button down there and the bell so you're notified when I upload. That's a bit of a tongue twister. I was getting a bit blah, 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 caught up on my words. Today we are back with a new haul. You guys have been asking for these for ages. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is only my second haul of 2020. And we're in March. So that's a bit crazy. And the haul I did last upload was actually filmed last year. So this is the first haul of 2020. I'm quite ashamed to say that because like I said, it's March. Ugh. But don't worry, because I've got you covered. There's gonna be more hauls coming soon. I just took a little break from the hauls for a while. I know that's like what the main thing on my channel is, along with like girl talks and stuff like that. But I took a little break from it, but now I'm back. I've had a ton of ideas. And today was definitely an idea. So I'm hauling something today that I've actually never done on my channel before. Up and, I mean, ah, hmm. I've got a story to tell you. So this brand in particular, I stopped wearing. Um, I, used, I tried it out in the beginning when I first started like my YouTube and stuff. So probably like end of 2017, beginning of 2018, I would wear it in the style. Um, but I stopped wearing it because I had a little bit, a little tiny little meansy meansy bit of beef with the owner. Um, we had, and this was like a couple of times, this wasn't just like one instance. Um, there was a couple of times that we but, but, butted heads, you would say. Um, the owner of In The Style is a man, he's called Adam. Um, he's very vocal on social media. Obviously it's his company and he's very um, passionate and protective over his company. So if anyone has like something to say about it, obviously he steps in and defends himself and the company, which, you know, every if you were in that position, I'm sure everyone would do that as well. We've always had a respectful discussion about certain things. We've never been like horribly rude to each other. We just butted heads about a couple of things, you know, but I've been seeing some stuff on ASOS because when I browse ASOS, I can see they carry it in the style and some of the stuff is absolute top notch. Well, it looks top notch. We'll see it, we'll try it today and see if it is top notch. And I also watched their documentary on BBC Three and I found it dead interesting. And so a girl, well, I'm assuming it's a girl, I'm not sure. Someone that works in the style contacted me on Instagram and said, hi babe, we'd love to give you some stuff, like blah, blah, blah. And I thought, you know what? It's time to, what was that? It's time to bury the hatchet. It's time to say, you know what? The past is in the past. Let's move forward. Let me try these clothes out. They do some great collections with influencers. Uh, influencers, I love. They do some great collections with influencers and celebrities and stuff. So I thought, let me just try it out. I know they did a collection recently with Lorna Lux. Um, a lot of her stuff looks incredible. So it's all like very high end, like cause she's, you know, looks as it would say on the tin. But yeah, in the past when I used to wear it in the style, I always found the stuff a little bit short. I'm quite tall, I'm five foot 11. All the dresses came up quite short on me, so I'll be interested to see if it's still the same now. But yeah, I've, got, I've actually forgotten what I've got, but I've got two bags. I've got two bags right here. So like I said, this is gifted, but obviously you're gonna get my 100% opinion just because it's gifted does not mean I'm gonna be like, oh, it's amazing. That's the same with all of my content, whether it's paid, whether it's gifted, whether I bought it myself. I'm always honest and I hope you all know that. If you don't know about In The Style, they are a UK based company. It's kind of like Boohoo, ASOS, Misguided, Pretty Little Thing. It's like all of them. One of them companies, um, they do straight size obviously and also plus size as well. I think they try to make sure a lot of their collections that they do with celebrities and influencers and stuff go up to plus size, which is really admirable because I know some companies don't always carry that through. They just do the straight size with their certain special edits or collections. So let's quit the chitty chat and get into the haul. I'm scared, but I'm excited at the same time because like I said, I've not tried some of this stuff for a long time and brands can really develop. So let's see if there has been growth. I just smashed a bloody light trying to get this set up right, but why did that rhyme? Hydration is key. Cool, let's open these. I think there's only one thing in here. This isn't that big. So I don't know what, I actually don't know how much we've got or what we've got. Well, obviously I picked some stuff, but 
I've forgotten what I picked. Okay, this is a blazer, a red blazer from the Jacqueline Josser collection. Um, if you're from England, you'll know she won I'm a Celebrity this year, or was it last year? I can't, last year, yeah. Got the pants to that, yeah, trousers. Um, joggers, crop top, and that's it. We've got a dress as well. We have three things. I'm sure I ordered more than that. I feel like I can't give up a, like a good in-depth review with just three things. You know what I mean? Well, three outfits. I guess we'll do it anyway and see what happens. This is the first outfit. So I feel like I've forgotten how to do this. Mm, it's been a while. This is the first outfit. It's just this like, I don't even know what color you call this. It's like a denim-y, bluey, greeny. I don't know, but I really like the color. It's just a tracksuit. So the top, first of all, is like a crop top. It has a zip here that's like concealed. If I'm looking over there, it's because the mirror's over there. So you can like bring it all the way up like this, or you can have it down. I prefer it down. I think that's super cute. It's like a raw hem, um, cuffs on the sleeves. It's quite like oversized. I got both of these in a 24. So yeah, this is the top. It's quite a nice length on a crop top. Like it's just covering my chub. So we like that. These are the pants. So it's just elasticated waist. There's no tie on them. So you kind of have to make sure you're getting your best size. Um, has pockets here. Let me put the camera down to show you. The, the pants have like these big pockets here, which is cute. They also have pockets on the bum. Again, the same pocket on this side. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. It's cute. I wouldn't say it's like the comfiest tracksuit ever, but it's definitely very cute and definitely a look. I could see me wearing this, like just a little casual moment with like a bomber jacket. And it's nice and high waisted, I will say that as well. I have, obviously, like I said, I'm tall. So it's nice and high waisted. The pants are long enough for me as well. I like it. I don't really know how to, should I stand like this? <laughs> I feel like a businesswoman. This is the next outfit. So it's this little red suit. Um, I love the color. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. My first thing about this, like the quality is not great. It fits me. I would prefer it to be a bit more oversized. I got both of them in a 24, but I feel like their size and runs a little bit small. So yeah, it's quite, it's not like thick. I don't know, like obviously it fits, it looks pretty and everything like that, but I wouldn't want to wear this all day, if you know what I mean. Like, you know when you lift your arms and the whole, the whole thing's just whoom. Yeah, if I was gonna wear this, I'd probably want to wear it open, but I don't have a top right now, so I didn't want to be tartars out for you all. But I do really love the colour and yeah, like it does fit. Everything's long enough for me, well, unless I do that, but who's doing that? Keep pulling it down because like the inside lining is so, you know when it's like really silky and it's just sliding around everywhere. So yeah, because it's quite tight, it's just not sitting properly. I think I probably should have got a bigger size, but I don't think they do a bigger size. I feel like in some things they go up to a 24, in some things it goes, I think up to a 26 or 28, but that's not everything. But yeah, um, this blazer is cute. I'll probably wear it open rather than done up if I was gonna wear it, because I do really like the color. But like I said, it's quite thin. It's not incredible quality, but again, this kind of website, it's not like gonna be the best in the world. Do you know what I mean? It's like fast fashion at the end of the day. So for the pants, let me just like, should we do a little tuck? Let's do a little tuck. So for the pants, they literally just about fit. So I would probably prefer them to be a little bit more high-waisted, but again, I'm a tall bitch. So I feel like this would be great for most people, but they actually have elastic on the back. So if you can see, all this on the back is elasticated, which is incredible if you are a curvy gal, because most of the time, like suit pants like this are very tight and hard to navigate if you have big hips or big bum or whatever. So having that elastic on the back is definitely a very, very nice touch. I love that. It does have belt loops as well. Pockets on the back, but they're like fake pockets. On the front, um, it has real pockets and it just does up like this with a little button. And again, they are quite long. They're long enough for me. I'll show you when I put the thing down. This is the length of the pants. So yeah, they're definitely long enough for me, which I love. 
I would have to keep pulling these up. They're giving me a slight camel toe. That's that. I want to like it. I like the idea behind it, but I feel like it just isn't executed that well, if you know what I mean. But I just love the colour. <sighs> yeah, definitely this would be a vibe open. See, that's how it fits on me open. Excuse, I do have raw and it's just my skin colour. Um, so yeah, that's it open, which is nice and like big. Because I feel like with some blazers, they don't actually, if you want to wear them open, they're not big enough to wear open like they're back here or some shit. So yeah, that is nice. It looks super cute with a turtleneck under it. That'd be cute. So that's this. I'm struggling to get like, oh, there we go. The zip down. How, the, how does this, how does this go? How do we, um... <laughs> How, who, why? I'm a bit confused. The fuck? Does this go off your shoulders? I can't do my zip up because I'm on my own. <laughs> I can't do the zip up. Like, it will fit. But you know when the zip is stiff? I'm so determined. <laughs> this is what single life is like. I'm sick of it. It would zip up like this. The zip is shit. I'm not gonna fucking beat around the bush. The zip's fucking shit. But I find that zips with like Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, all them, all the zips are shit. They don't spend a lot of money on the zips. And it's like, when you are, <clears throat> I don't even know, it might be the same for smaller girls, but when you're a bigger girl especially, and you're trying to into something, the zip just doesn't wanna cooperate, babe. It's not cooperating, they're not on our side. But I feel like if this actually zipped up, it would be really beautiful. So even if it did zip up, these would still be falling down. I don't know if they're supposed to be off the shoulder. Like, I don't know if that, no, that can't be how it's supposed to be worn. I hope I'm not being stupid, but I feel like it is supposed to sit like, like this. It's falling down. I'm honestly trying to figure this out and I just can't get my head around it. <gasps> Somebody fucking calm down, one, one. Right, so if I'm not being thick, it either goes like this or it goes like, the, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to like sit semi off the shoulder like that, which if that's the case, it fucking falls down and my tits pop out. <laughs> so anyway, let me talk about the rest of the dress whilst I'm trying to, protect my modesty so i do really like the ruchedness so it's like ruched up the front ruched up the sides ruched up the bottom um it's way too short for me like i said i appreciate the thought that went into it it just wasn't constructed that great like i said this is the sizing runs small for sure i don't know babe i need to know so hold on is this fucking inside out oh my god have i been have I been actually thick this whole time? Oh my God. I am stupid. So it's actually supposed to go like this. No wonder it's fucking turning inside out. I bet some of you are watching this going, turn it round, turn it round. That makes so much more sense. Wow. I think, wow. All I can say is sorry lads. I had no clue. This actually looks very cute. <laughs> oh my God, what a fucking palaver. So it's supposed to do up like this. Oh, I love the silhouette on the back, like how it goes right across the back. So yeah, it goes like this. Like, this has got a bit of, you know that stuff that sticks to you? Yeah, and then it puffs and then it's like that. And it's like a little sweetheart neck, a little V in the middle. This is so cute, but it don't fit. <laughs> Like, like I said, sizing's a little bit small. I really do like this dress though. I think it's super cute. It's also not, well, no, I don't think it is. I don't think it's that see-through at all, considering it's a white dress. Um, I have a nude colour bra on and a kind of nude-ish knickers. So yeah, but like I said, it's way too short for me. And the zip is whack. For a dress like this nice and pretty and like for how much like fabric and how, like rigid it is, you'd want a better zip on it so you could at least do it up yourself. Do you know what I mean? I don't live with anyone, so trying to, oh, have we got movement? Trying to do this on my own is very difficult. I feel like this is a very spring summery dress with like a little 
straw handbag. Mm, I feel like you could wear some races as well. Anyway, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> that was everything I had to show you today from In The Style. I wish we had more to haul because I feel like I didn't really get a well-rounded enough opinion of what the clothes are like. Maybe I'll have to do a part two to this video. To be honest, my opinion is I do really like the styles that they're doing. I don't think, like some of the stuff, like, oh yeah, other websites have it and stuff like that. But some of the stuff is very original to them and I do think they make the effort to like try and make different like kind of styles, like that white dress. I've never really seen anything like that on another site, even though it didn't fit. But I do think they make the effort to like go out there and like kind of get different styles in. I don't think the quality is superb, but I don't think many fast fashion retailers qualities are superb i do i think asos quality is always spot on that's just me personally but would i order from them i would probably say yeah if i saw like a few things that i liked i would definitely order from them i love i love this even though this bit keeps like itching me but i do really like this two piece i really feel like i need to get more stuff to do like a proper opinion on it do you know what i mean like i said in the video i do think they run a little bit small so just be wary of that when you're ordering from them but other than that that was all i had to show you guys today i'll be back next sunday with another haul i feel like sundays are going to be like haul day or like fashion day some sort of fashion video will come to the channel so i hope you all enjoyed watching and i will see you very soon for a new video if you haven't watched my last video i put up um a cooking video so some of you really wanted to see that so go check the last video for some plant-based recipes so yeah i'll see you very soon thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe i click the bell and bye